Whenever we're talking about follow-up, normally we're talking about a projection weld. That's a weld when we're welding projections, usually those little dimples uh, that are on a fastener or on a sheet. So when we're talking about follow-up, when that projection starts to heat, it's going to start to collapse. We must keep the same force throughout the movement of that projection collapse. We need to keep a minimum of 90% of the force value throughout that dynamic movement of that follow-up with that projection. So when we're talking about follow-up, how do we test it? It's really one of those things that is unexplored in the projection welding field. We're doing lots of studies to try to find out how do we get the best follow-up for projection welding. Because if you don't follow that collapse of that projection, it's going to affect the force that you have on that projection. Lower force, higher heat, you're going to have expulsion. It's going to blow that projection off of that part because we're not following up with the same force.